This is no one from nowhere, and you are, and I am a spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about Solar Eclipse Endgame, the Anunnaki Gods Age of Enlightenment 2024. First, a quick joke. April 8th will mark the Great American Solar Eclipse. So you know on this day what you can say to your adversaries, right? Go ahead and go to the place where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> you bunch of lunatics. This is all lunacy, I tell you. <laughs> this book I wrote in one day. And it is called The Anunnaki God's Age of Enlightenment 2024 by Spirit of God and Timothy Strong. This can be purchased online at Amazon.com for $13.33. And the uh, other version, the Kindle version, is $3.33. So we're going to go into this book from the Assyrian solar eclipse to hopefully we'll get to the end game where I can show you with biblical proofs what's going on in our future with the Assyrian solar eclipse because there is nothing new under the sun. As it states in Ecclesiastes 1 9, nothing is new under the sun. So, at any rate, we will go into that as well as to the end, which is going to be to April 29th of 2024, and also cover April 8th, which includes the Devil's Comet the solar eclipse the great american solar eclipse on april 8th the devil's comet and a hebrew nissan abib which means barley and lord barley is ninurta so these are very important days coming up and it is in my opinion that it is the anunnaki gods especially inky because we are entering in aquarius age of enlightenment 2024 this is enlightenment or not for those who adhere to the rules and read and are aware with no fear than those people hear with their ears. <laughs> but those who do not, they will be harvest. Man means manna and this is found in Strong's Concordance. Four, four, seven, eight. Let us make manna in our image. So this is the age of enlightenment. And it is Inky, the god of water, pictured on this book cover. And that is what means Aquarius, the picture of water. In Luke 22, 10, Jesus says, and he is the god of Pisces. He says to foul the man carrying a pitcher of water. Who can it be knocking at our door? Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. So this is the Anunnaki gods. And in my opinion, they started humanity and they will end humanity. Above, Father Inky, the god of wisdom, water, and trickery. Creator of mankind with Ninhursag, it does not require great art or magnificently trained elegance to prove that Christians should tolerate each other. I, however, am going further. I say that we should regard all men as our brothers. What? The Turk, my brother? The Cinnamon, my brother? The Jew? The Siam? All question marks. Yes, without doubt. Are we not all children of the same father? and creatures of the same God. Voltaire, in 1763, said this. This is right out of my Google Docs, and you are privy to it. If you are a subscriber on this channel, I 
you know, like money, but I don't need it. And this is all for free. Who says that? I say that. Why do I say that? Because I got my priorities straight. <laughs> Author's notes. Is it not time to stop telling stories of Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy? Thanks for tuning in to another book. This is like Pulp Fiction, and if it happens, then my consciousness is wiped clean. This is a new age of extraterrestrials, especially Inky of Enlightenment and Aquarius with the Anunnaki gods. And once again, we have another big date coming up on April 8th, 2024 that has the Devil's Comet, a solar eclipse that has to do with Jonah and the seven or eight Ninevehs, and a Nissan, and a Bib Hebrew New Year. This is on the same day that means a harvest with Ninurta as Lord Barley in Ruth 3 2 and the Great Supper of Anunnaki Elohim in Revelation 1917. This has to do with the fall of Marduk and Anana, as in New York Harbor, as the Statue of Liberty, and so on, as in the New Babylon. This is going to be a huge date, and it is my opinion that we will see the second coming of Jesus Christ in a new type of man, which will be set in the universal skies, and a new kind of presence with the Anunnaki creator extraterrestrials of many empires. There will be much pain, suffering, and misery with the fall of Babylon, which is America. At the end, will be mainly in Revelation 19. This will engage a type of zombie apocalypse found in Ezekiel 37, which Inky may have planned as a god of trickery in Bahrain, or not, with the 350,000 burial mounds over 400 and 49,000 years ago. Either way, these are extraterrestrials that are geneticists and scientists. So, once again, you be the judge. There will be a predetermined alien invasion found in Revelation 16.21. Hint, Space Force was created a few years ago with a very famous president. Then after all this war, plagues, and earthquakes settle, there will be a new kind of man designed by Inky through Jesus Christ that is the new heaven and earth found in Revelation 20. This is about the dead being raised up in a new era of enlightenment with the biblical gods because Enlil and his family wrote the Bible as God assure Wittnanurta before the Christian era. It is in my opinion that they have been running the show since day one from your grandfather's grandfather's grandfather's. You be the judge. It is your decision to tune in to immortality and know that you can be like God Zuh, or not. So what also I want to tell you is that since Jesus Christ had a ending before or in his beginning, that means this is pre-planned. So he, Jesus Christ in the Bible had revelation in his beginning. So this is 2,000 years ago. Every zodiac age is 2,000 years or 2160 years is in one zodiac age. Jesus was in the age of Pisces. Now we are in or entering into Aquarius. So if he had an ending in his beginning, this is all pre-planned and you get all your information from fiction. The Bible is a work of fiction and so are movies, most of them, and also film and songs. So this is where you will get your information. Thank you. Jonah, the Ap Kula, Oannes, fish priest king in Nineveh before the Assyrian solar eclipse. Yes, he was an Ap Kula, fish priest king of Enki. The first one was named Adapa to Enmed Duranki or Enoch 
to the last one, Utnapishtim, found in the first book ever written called The Epic of Gilgamesh. These were fish priest kings, and they were started with Ia Inki in Eridu. So, he was a Noannis fish priest king in Nineveh, and he was working with the, you guessed it, the Anunnaki Elohim. So, we have a biblical proof found in Luke 11.29 through 11.31. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. They seek a sign, and there will be no sign be given it. But the sign of Jonas, the prophet, according to Jesus Christ, equals April 8th, solar eclipse, devil's comet, and Hebrew, Abib, Nisan, Barley, for Lord Barley, Ninurta. For as Jonas was a sign unto the Nivites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. Repent, for the second coming of Jesus Christ through the Anunnaki gods is here. Luke 11, 31, the queen of the south equals Arish Kigal, shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them. For she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, a greater than Solomon is here. Luke 11.32, the men of Nineveh, Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it, for they repented as the preaching of Jonas, and behold, a greater than Jonas is here, equals the Anunnaki God's Age of Enlightenment 2024. Pictured here is Lord Barley to the right. Ninurta, farming the entire solar system with his seven from, for the Pleiades and Taurus. So how do you get to see God's face to face? You go through a fucus and you serpent tame and you get to see the gods face to face. But there is Ninurta as Lord Barley and he is the heir to Enlil's Ikur and... He is coming to town, in my opinion, with the Nissan and the Abib. Lord Barley starts and initiates on April 8th and through the 29th. Thank you. The Sumerian flat earth concept. Do we live in an engineered dome world? Genesis 7:11 says that we have windows of heaven. Does earth really look like this, or in conceptual, is it like this? The Bur Sigali eclipse occurred over the Assyrian capital city of Nineveh in the middle of the reign of Jeroboam II, who ruled Israel from 786 to 746 BC. According to 2 Kings 1425, the prophet Jonah lived and prophesied in Jeroboam's reign. The biblical scholar Donald Wiseman has speculated that the eclipse took place around when Jonah arrived in Nineveh and urged the people to repent, otherwise the city would be destroyed. This would explain the dramatic repentance of the people of Nineveh as described in the book of Jonah. Ancient cultures, including Assyria, viewed eclipses as omens of imminent destruction and the empire was in chaos at this time, struggling with revolts, famines, and two separate outbreaks of plagues. Remember, it is in my opinion that there is nothing new under the sun. What is your opinion? Please leave your comments. The eclipse is also mentioned by the prophet Amos, and Amos is very interesting. Amos was also preaching during the reign of Jeroboam II and refers to the eclipse in Amos 5.8 and Amos 8.5 and 9. In these passages, Amos uses the eclipse as a prophecy of doom, but also exhorts Judea, Judeans to repentance. So this may be your time since this solar eclipse is going through several 
Ninevehs here in the United States. It's all up to you. This is your life. And you all wrestle with God one-on-one. -on -one. Correct? Biblical proof of the Pleiades, the origin of the Anunnaki gods, in my opinion, especially al Sai one and the Anunnaki gods and a solar eclipse found in Amos 5.8. Seek him that maketh the seven stars equals the Sumerian Pleiades mol dot mol or mol mol three stars each and Orion and turneth the shadow of death into the morning and maketh the day dark with night. This is a Biblical proof of solar eclipse maketh the day dark with night and the shadow of death into the morning. Do you understand? That call for the waters of the sea and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord Anu equals Anunnaki gods equals princely offspring is their names. Biblical proof of the solar eclipse at Jesus' death found in Mark 15, 33. And when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. Equals, this is a three-hour solar eclipse at Jesus' death. Remember, there is nothing new under the sun. Remember, there is nothing new under the sun. A place to see sees, one nine, the thing that hath been it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. As in, meet the new boss, he is or she is, or that this group is same as the old boss. It is, in my opinion, that the Anunnaki gods, extraterrestrials, aliens, whatever you want to call them, have been running the earth forever and ever and ever. What is your opinions? Please leave your comments and let us learn together. Do it now, right now. <laughs> I have been uh, going on and on and on for a long time. So it is your time and we can learn together. The phrase used, shamash, pictured to the right, is the sun. Akalo means bent, twisted, crooked, distorted, or obscured. Has been interpreted as a reference to a solar eclipse since the first discernment of cuneiform in the mid-19th century. The name Bur Sigali in Sumerian is the Eponymous year. So this is the Anunnaki god Shamash of the sun pictured here. And it appears that it is a hung sun. What do you think? They also use nuclear fusion to power this sun. So the Assyrian eclipse, also known as the Burr. Sigali eclipse is a solar eclipse re recorded in a Syrian eponym list that most likely dates to the 10th year of the reign of King Ashur Dan III. This is very important because you have the name Ashur, which is an archon name for Enlil, and then you have Dan which is the tribe of Dan, and then they created Christianity right after this king's reign. So, and it states in Daniel 7.18 that the tribe of Dan will reign forever and ever and even ever. So even if we have a solar eclipse and a war and, you know, a big plague, whatever happens, you know, let's just, for example, say, China comes in to our country and invades us with Russia and whoever else. Well, we're going to reign forever and ever and ever, according to Daniel 7.18. So, don't panic, as Jesus Christ says. <laughs> 
A major earthquake also occurred, and this occurred in 760 B.C., which may have been during the time of Jeroboam II, towards the end of his rule. The earthquake is mentioned in the book of Amos as having occurred during the rule of Jeroboam, son of Jehosh. And this is also the solar eclipse is identified with the one that occurred on June 15th, 763 B.C. in the prophetic Julian calendar. And remember, the two witnesses in Revelation 11 is a two type of accounting system. It's the Gregorian calendar that was changed by Pope Gregory. So we have the Helios centric calendar. So here is one biblical proof found in Matthew 24 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, equal a solar eclipse, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. So the moon is called her light. It is both sexes. You'll see Nana Sin in the next image. And he has breasts, so it is a he and a she. Enlil and Ninlil myth create the sun, moon god, Nana, Swin, Sin, in this Sumerian biblical myth. And here he is, the moon god. Another biblical proof of Nana, Swin, Sin, a solar eclipse found in Exodus 10.21. And the Lord, Nana Swin Sin, said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. Exodus 10, through 23 And Moses stretched forth his hand towards heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt. Three days equals a solar eclipse. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days, but all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings, meaning they're anointed ones of this age of enlightenment in Leo. And this is why you will see a half man and half lion Sphinx, in my opinion, this signifies the age of Leo. Half man, half lion, or mankind in the age of Leo. Do you understand? Thank you. King Ninurta in Sumerian seal VA243. King Ninurta as Lord Barley, who is the heir to earth and Enlil's Ekur, and is going to farm out the entire solar system. Do you really have a choice? Is this Anunnaki God's system of life? You can join the Supper of God equals Anunnaki Elohim or not. It is your choice. Found in King of Kings, Revelation 19.15 And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of almighty Ishkur Adad God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now who can this be? other than Ninurta. Because Tukalu T Ninurta the first means my trust is in the warrior god Ninurta, and he reigned as a Assyrian king in 1243 to 1207 BC and was a king of Assyria during the Middle Assyrian 
Empire. He is the first recorded in history, history, <laughs> as the first king to use the title King of Kings. Do you understand? So when you see King of Kings, there was one prior because most of the Bible, in my opinion, was borrowed from Sumer, Mesopotamia, and also Egypt. Biblical proof of King Ninurta Enlil's heir to the occur found in Revelation 19.17. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. And he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. And God in Hebrew means Elohim, and only one exists in in my opinion, called the Anunnaki Gods. Welcome to the Anunnaki Gods Age of Enlightenment 2024. The Anunnaki Gods Age of Enlightenment 2024, 4.54 billion years ago, the Anunnaki Gods that are farmers built the flat earth dome sky world called the Rakea using high technological Technologies that we cannot even begin to imagine. Possibly AI and possibly right now in your midst. The term Rakea, which is a hammered sheet of brass, Rakea in Strong's Concordance number 7549. For Rakea, properly an expanse, is the firmament. A visible arch of the sky is a firmament. Genesis 1-7, And God, or Anunnaki Elohim, made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. Genesis 7-11, In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day, were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the magic windows of heaven were open equals engineered dome world with magic windows or Rakea Strong's Concordance 7549. This is a type of terranium, an engineered sheet of brass hammered out by the Ajiji and the sons or songbirds listed in Job. Where were you when the fountains and the foundations of earth were made? What is your opinion? This is a big, old debate. Is Mother Earth flat? The Sumerians thought that the, or taught by the Anunnaki Elohim that they worked right next to in Sumer, Mesopotamia, that the Earth was flat. Is there foundation pegs right under our feet? Is there an inner earth that you are not aware of? Is the earth flat but round and has a foundational footings or timber frame like big old timbers that are like the Rocky Mountains and they hold up the flat earth concept? What is your opinion? Thank you. When people have telepathy, and they're in the woods, what path do they take? Only the psychopath. <laughs> 763 BC, Assyrian solar eclipse, Ashur Dan III establishes the new religions of today that was invented by God Enlil and his family from his archon name Ashur God. This initiates the revolt of Ashur. This is also in the Julian calendar and is a leap year correction error to throw your zodiac astrology off. Later, this was changed by Pope Gregory calling the Gregorian calendar or the biblical revelation to witnesses. This initiates the Anunnaki ghost matrix or a zombie apocalypse found in Revelation 11 Three, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score 
days clothed in sackcloth. And also, Revelation 11, 9. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nation shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. This is also related to the later term tribe of Dan, found as Enlil's appointee in the clay cone from Ashur, Ashur Dan, is accorded the following tulature, Ashur Dan appointee of the god Enlil, vice regent of Ashur, son of Adad Nira, appointee of the god Enlil, vice regent of Ashur, son of Shemashi, a dad, who was also appointee of the god Enlil and vice regent of Ashur. The Assyrian solar eclipse is nothing new under the Anunnaki god sun because these events will be similar to April 8, 2024 concerning Jonah and the great American solar eclipse in seven Nineveh's. This initiates Lord Barley Harvest, named Ninurta, pictured to the right. He is in the myth slain heroes and Ninurta's exploits, which says, and also Lugal says that he is king of earth and owner, extraterrestrial or not, he is the owner of earth. And it says so in the myth of Lugal, slain heroes, and Ninurta's exploits. Basically, a simple question would be, what would you do if you had a son and you owned a planet? Would you give it to your son? It's pretty simple. You be the judge. 753 BC, the foundation of Rome was established. 690 BC, the Assyrian Empire collapses. These are the Aryan giants called the Amorites. 612 BC, Nimrod equals Ninurta built Nineveh for Inanna as the lady that sits in New York Harbor today in the New Babylon. This is found in biblical proof in Genesis 10, 9 through 12. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord Enlil, wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod or Ninurta the mighty hunter before the Lord Enlil. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel and Uruk and Akkad and Kalni in the land of Shinar. And out of that land went forth Ashur and builded Nineveh and the city Rabauth and Kale. And Razan built between Nineveh and Kale is the same as the great city. 600 B.C. Neo-Babylonian Empire was established by King Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. The kingdom of Judah becomes a vassal state of Babylon. Cyrus the Great reigns over the Persian Empire. The sage Confucius is born. The Persian Empire conquered Babylon. 593 to 571 B.C. to the current date. Of April 8, 2024, the Hebrew New Year is called the Bib or Nisan Akita, which means sowing of barley. And there is only one Lord Barley, namely Ninurta. Ninurta is the biblical inspiration for Nimrod. Nimrod is compared to King Gilgamesh and also Baal Hadad, known as Orion the Hunter. Enlil and Ninhursag, son named Ninurta, is the inspiration for the biblical name Nimrod. So as above, so below, meaning in the sky as Orion the hunter, and also beneath your feet, called the dirt, in lower inner earth, possibly you be the judge, Antarctica. So Ninurta is the heir of Enlil's Ikur and probably the king of earth for the Anunnaki Elohim with a rank number of 50, just as Enlil and Marduk had the number 50. The first Assyrian conqueror to call Ninurta the first, meaning my trust is in the warrior god Ninurta of Babylonia and a famous builder was named after Ninurta. 
Ninurta means Lord Barley. Also, Ningursu means Lord of Gursu. He is an ancient Mesopotamian god associated with farming, healing, hunting, law, scribes, and war, who was first worshipped in earliest, early Samaria. In the earliest records, he is a god of agricultural and healing, who cures humans of sicknesses and releases them from the power of demons. He was given instructions by his father Enlil to make up the first ever recorded Sumerian farmer's almanac. The song Nimrod was played at Prince Philip's, Princess Diana's, Duke of Edinburgh's, Queen Elizabeth's funerals. Despite this, Ninurta was never completely forgotten. Many scholars agree that Ninurta was the biblical inspiration for the figure Nimrod, mentioned in Genesis 10, 8 through 12. He has also a temple in Nippur with Enlil, and at Cal, who, in the epic poem Lugal-e, Ninurta slays the demon Asag using the talking mace, Shararu, and uses stones to build the Tigris and Euphrates rivers to make them useful for irrigation. He is very famous, and you should probably know about him, because he may be coming to town very soon. Revelation 18.1 After these things I saw another angel, Sukal officer of Ninurta, Inamuanzi, means his word is true. Come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Revelation 18.2, And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great, is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils that possess with sorcery like sex magic. So this means that Babylon will fall in Revelation. Is the Bible not telling you everything that you need to know? Are you reading the Word of God available at every street in America and throughout the world? And it is for free, even sometimes being given to you by door knockers that come right to your house. Is there not some truth to these words? Akitu is in a Sumerian festival, an Akkadian festival, and is a spring festival and New Year's celebration held on the first day of the Assyrian and Babylonian Nisan in ancient Mesopotamia and Assyrian communities around the world to celebrate the sowing of barley. This day was asked by the Babylonians as a secret prayer for forgiveness. In quotes, the secret of Isagali, it reads, Lord, without peer in thy wrath, Lord, gracious King, Lord of the lands, who made salvation for the great gods or Anunnaki gods, Lord of the lands, light of the Ajiji, who pronounced blessings. Lord Barley Ninurta is found in biblical proof in Ruth 3.2. Now, Boaz, with whose women you have worked, is a relative of ours. Tonight, he will be winnowing barley, as Lord Barley, on the threshing floor, meaning inner earth, is his domain. And we are actually trespassing on his property, if you want to be frank about it. We are the new species. They are the old, the ancient ones of Olam, meaning forever. And there's been many other species here on earth, obviously, who built all the megaliths. So we are the new breed. We are the aliens. In my opinion, what is yours? Thank you. 555 BC, the book of Ezekiel is fashion. Ezekiel name means God is strong. Pun intended. <laughs> He established the presence of extraterrestrials and their spaceships in Ezekiel 119. 
And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Ezekiel also proclaims in prophecy the zombie apocalypse, in quotes as I call it in this book, or the valley of dry bones which is in the following, and remember that Ezekiel 38 has already came to fruit as in the war that is current in Ukraine as Magog and Gog. Biblical proof of Anunnaki Elohim's God Inki and Enlil, Ezekiel 37, Valley of the Anunnaki Zombie Apocalypse. Found in Ezekiel 37, 1. The hand of the Lord Enki was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord Enki and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Equals zombies? With a question mark? You be the judge. Beset DNA in Bahrain Dillman burial mounds ignition through the devil's comet. And also Ezekiel 37 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and I prophesied, and there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. Ezekiel 37 9. Then said he unto me, Prophecy unto the wind, or to the God Enlil of the wind, Prophecy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God Enlil, or God Air, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live, equals zombies, and a new kind of DNA genetic download from the Anunnaki Elohim. You be the judge. Ezekiel 37.23 Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them, so they shall be my people. And I will be their God, equals Anunnaki, Elohim. Another biblical proof of the zombie apocalypse found in Ezekiel 37.10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. I mean, is there not some truth to the Simpsons? I mean, they're predicting some amazing things these days. But this also could be dealt with in the form of plagues and also more, you know, putting down, just like in the Assyrian solar eclipse, you know, putting down the poor even more. So you be the judge. 167 BC, Sargon of Akkad is seen as part of the story of Jonah with Enlil's Rabasu demons. The book of Jonah is one of the 12 minor prophets of the Nevi'im prophets in the Hebrew Bible and an individual book in the Christian Old Testament. The book tells of a prophet named Jonah, son of Amatia, who is sent by God Enlil, or God, to prophesy the destruction of Nineveh, but attempts to escape his divine mission. The prophet Jonah is mentioned in 2 Kings 14.25, which places Jonah's life during the reign of Jeroboam II. And this king was materialistic and put down the poor to make them poor through high cost. Many parts of the zombie apocalypse is found in Amos 8.5, saying, When will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn, and the Sabbath, that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekel great, and falsifying the balances 
by deceit, meaning they're going to up the prices and they're going to deceive you by misrepresentations of the scales, meaning they're going to rip you off. 99 BC, the writings of the Old Testament are finalized. My favorite part of the Old Testament to come is the return of the son of Anu, the Amorites, who were strong as oak trees and tall as cedars in Amos 2.9. Will they return? Biblical proof found in Genesis 15.16. But in the fourth generation, or Ashar is 3,600 years. They shall come hither again for the inequity of the Amorites is not yet full. So if these were the ones seen at the Miami Mall, then there's your proof. 6 BC, the Greek god fallen angel, Ajiji Pan, otherwise known as Baal, Gad or God, is so-called claimed to die and his replacement is the savior, God, from Nazareth. This is the Amorite conquest in the Mount Hermon area known as Baal Hermon, found in Joshua 13.15 and Judges 3.3. 3. This is also where the Anunnaki Ajiji put in to force the black magic into the false religious doctrines. The Zodiac Age of Pisces begins. Jesus Christ is the Anointed One and is born in Nazareth only 40 miles away from Tyre. This can be shown in Exodus 14.21 on the crossing of the Red Sea and is copied from the Ugaritic text wherein Baal Zephon opens up the Red Sea for the Hiskos. The beginning of the Christian era marks a very convenient date for the extinction of the real gods and goddesses who actually walked and talked on this planet called the Anunnaki Elohim that have houses and hundreds of thousands of tablets in records. This ends the time period of a 3,000 year frame of the blunt extraction of the Mesopotamian literature tradition. This is found upon King Solomon's death in 1 Kings 12.16 when all Israel saw that the king did not listen to them the people answered the king, quote, What share do we have in David? Meaning the religious rivalry of the Christian era. We have no heritage in the son of Jesse, who is Jesus Christ, also found in Isaiah 11.1, 1, equals I am Anuel, or I am Anu Elohim, equals the Anunnaki Elohim. To your tents, O Israel, now look at your own house, David, end quote. Daniel 4, 5. Finally, there came before me Daniel, God is my judge, meaning, whose name is Belteshazzar, after the name of my God, and in whom the spirit of the holy God. This is, a, is an appeal to Bel, or Bel Marduk, the original name of the city god Enlil of Nippur, and later identified with Marduk. Daniel's, or Danny Boy, is Irish for Danian equals Daniel. Use of this name is to be the true god of Nippur, namely Enlil or Elil. Pictured here, which is the tribe of Dan worships serpents, and goddess Ninhursag Inki and god Anu. Is everyone really worshiping Enlil? You be the judge. Daniel 7.18 But the saints of the Most High Anu shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. That is a long time forever and ever and ever. 33 AD Jesus Christ begins his ministry at the age of 33 with 33 vertebrae and a brain weighing 3.3 pounds. Near Mount Hermon, which is at the 33rd degree longitude and latitude, only conveniently changed in the year 1666 by King Louis. 325 AD, the Council of Nicaea in Jesus Christ is manufactured by the image of the Greek god 
Christos Serapis. His stories are derived from Egypt, Babylon, Greek, Indo-Europeans, Indo-Iranian, and, of course, the Sumerians. 1229 A.D., the Holy Inquisition begins. 1582 A.D., the Gregorian calendar was established by Pope Gregory the 13th, this is part in Revelation 11, called the Two Witnesses. 1609 B.C., John D. works with supernatural spirits and entities in order to establish a new world order. He is the first 007 spy in history. He uses Hermeticism, or Thoth equals Ningazida in Hermes, and works with magic and Queen Elizabeth I to establish the New World in the Americas, called the British Empire. 1626 A.D., Sir Francis Bacon writes his book called The New Atlantis. He was known as a Rosicrucian and a Freemason who established the Virginia Colony for Elizabeth I of England. He is known for being a founder of the United States of America. In 1609, he is quoted as the guiding spirit in colonization schemes in 1610, end quote. This is a corporation, if you haven't noticed, and it was founded by Britain. Thank God. 1776 A.D., America is founded. This is what I call America equals Amaru equals Amorite equals Martu equals the Anunnaki gods. God bless America. Amaru, founded in 74-1776 with 13 colonies. Omnipotent Jupiter, Enlil, Zeus, Baal, Hadad, please favor my audacity. End quote. King Anne, Anu favors our undertakings. I favor. Join or die. This is what I call third eye calcification without representation. <laughs> 1886 AD, the Statue of Liberty is dedicated, in my opinion, to the Anunnaki goddess Ishtar, Anana Ishtar, and she is the Queen of Heaven and representing Venus, and Arish Kigal is the underworld queen of the underworld found in Luke 11, 29 through 32. 1925 AD to current, the God is Dead campaign begins in what I call, once again, third eye calcification without representation. Sodium fluoride NAF is on the brink of the addition to over two-thirds cryolite intoxications. Sodium fluoride is in two-thirds of the world's drinking water, hence in all food, plants, animals, drugs, and almost everything that you and we consume. Fluoride in Latin is for flow or flux, and it is like a egg coating on your pineal gland, the most important gland that you have heard of or not. This is your single eye found in Matthew 6.22. Let your eye be single. So, this is the pine cone associated with the corpia aranchia, also known as brain sand. The pineal gland is the master gland in the seat of your soul. And if you are dumbed down, you don't know, you know what. And is you are just another sheeple out to pasture experiencing spiritual death without ever even knowing it. Do you understand? The pineal gland is a very important gland that you get to see God face to face. And it is the light of your world found in your third ventricle. The place in which God Enlil dwells is in your skull or the skull place that Jesus was crucified at. And it is your third eye called and located in your hypothalamus, which can enable you to be a prophet 
of the endocrine system. The Anunnaki God's Third Eye Blind campaign is found in Isaiah 6, 9 through 12. And he replied, go and say to these people, listen carefully, but you shall not understand. Look intently, but you shall know nothing. You are to make the heart of these people sluggish, meaning your endocrine system in your pineal gland. And your pituitary gland is also very, very important. To dull their ears and close their eyes, meaning your pineal gland. Else their eyes will see, their ears will hear, their heart understand, meaning the endocrine system. Jesus Christ was a prophet of the endocrine system. Quote, How long, O Lord Enlil, I asked? And he replied, Until the cities are desolate, without inhabitants or ghosts, zombies, walking of the spiritual dead. Houses without a man and the earth is a desolate waste. Until the Lord Enlil removes men far away and the land is abandoned more and more and more. And this relates to why Jesus Christ uses parables found in Matthew 13, 13. I use parables when I speak to them because they look but do not see. They listen but they do not hear or understand. This is the third eye calcification without representation. Here, here, here. <laughs> pineal gland activ act pineal gland activation may save your life. I gave my pineal gland of Jesus Christ book for free to many people, including a war marine at a gas station, because I thought it could save his life. A third eye open or a pineal gland activ act. A pineal gland activation can save your life and you will know what to do. This is why the birds fly south for the winter and all these animals on earth know what to do because they are sober minded first of all, but they know what to do because their pineal gland tells them what to do and it should tell you what to do if it is activated. Pineal gland activation may save your life found in Matthew 6.22. The light of the body is the eye, or pineal gland. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. This means you. What is your choice? Because this is the most important gland you have in order to get the living waters of Jesus Christ. What if I told you that once a month you crucified the Christ oil right in your brain. Would you believe me? Biblical proof is found in Revelation 22, 1 through 2. The medicine is used to heal the nations once a month. Twelve crops to heal the nations once a month. The vagus nerve crucifies this oil and you get to have it coat your pineal gland once a month. Pictured here is Saint Atipus that was burned for the manna of the saints in a brazen bowl. 1933 to 1945 Adolf Hitler is in the age of Pisces and he is the Antichrist in my opinion. World War II begins and starts the era of the Nazi Germans and Hitler and his regime work with the Anunnaki Aldebaran aliens to help establish an alien New World Order. Hitler is the seventh of the seventh hill of Rome and was only here for a short while. And this is your clue found in Revelation 17.10. He is the one who brought in the Anunnaki alien New World Order. Adolf Hitler set up Nuremberg, the altar of Zeus, Ishkur Adad, and the final solution, wherein there was a brazen bull, Taurus a bull, Aldebaran star, mimicking that of St. Atipus, found in Revelation 2, 13 through 14. 2000, 
12 AD, the new age of Aquarius initiates. This is a complete rotation of the full 12 zodiacs found in astrology. This is a great year and is 25,920 years long. Each zodiac age is 2,160 years each. Each degree in each age is 72 years times 30 degrees equals to 2,160 years. 12 times 2,160 years is 25,920 years or a great year. This is the new age of extraterrestrial life and the search for the big question and our ancestors in the stars, as we are all star seeds. Consciousness will be unlocked with new spiritual enlightenment with quantum entanglement. This is found in Luke 22.10, the age of Aquarius. Jesus Christ says, Foul the man carrying the pitcher of water, into the house or age he enters. 2017, August, A.D., the solar eclipse initiates the seventh angel and the beginning of Armageddon, or last of days, found in Revelation 14.15. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth, unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty, who is Ishkur Adad, in my opinion. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Revelation 16 16, and he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon equals the earlier Megiddo. Revelation 16, 17, and the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, later called my corona or COVID-19, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, it is done. The August 2017 eclipse, or solar eclipse, was the first with a path of totality crossing the Pacific and Atlantic coast of the U.S. since the solar eclipse of 1918. Also, its path of totality made landfall exclusively within the United States, making it the fir first such eclipse since the country's Declaration of Independence in 1776. This is found once again in Revelation 16, in my opinion. You be the judge. Even He-Man wears, as master of the universe, wears an old school Anunnaki cross with a technological alien-like weapon. Very interesting. Telepathy begins in the year 1977, especially in 2017, to the current date, with Enlil, Ninurta, Nanchi, Jesus-like beings, and many more. Owner of Earth, called God's. Visions like crystal balls in my head with Anunnaki that are in my six senses. Visions of Ninurta. And he is the chief god of agriculture and the chief cook of the Anunnaki. I am fluid. And he is king. And this is what Ninurta says found in Revelation 3, 17 through 22. Spiritual bankruptcy. You keep saying, quote, I am so rich and secure that I want for nothing. Little do you realize how wretched you are, how pitiful and poor, how blind and naked 
equals third eye blindness, spiritually bankrupt, because of the bubbling springs of the material world you live in. Take my advice. Buy from me gold refined by fire or the Anunnaki star fire I am fluid if you would be truly rich. Buy white garments in which to be clothed, meaning an upright life. If the shame of your nakedness is to be covered, buy ointment to smear on your eyes. If you would see once more, meaning a anointed pineal gland found in your endocrine system of the CSF or cerebral spinal fluids, the oil called the living waters, the Christos oil, and become a prophet of the endocrine system equals the Anunnaki I am fluid. Whoever is dear to me, I reprove and chastise. Be earnest about it, therefore, repent. Here I stand knocking at the door. If anyone hears me calling and opens the door, I will enter his house and have supper with him, and he with me. I will give the victor the right to sit with me on my throne, as I myself won the victory and took my seat besides my father, Enlil. On his throne, quote, let him who has ears heed the spirits. The Holy Spirit is the divine breath and spark of life. Listen to the word to the churches, end quote. 2024, right now, current date, is the year of the dragon. This is when we will get more and more in tune with our alien extraterrestrial creators with high technologies and AI called the Anunnaki Elohim and more extraterrestrial races. Be ready and be on guard because the year of the dragon means to be wise as the serpent of Fucus because I am sure there will be more false AI magic tricks, possibly like Jesus in the sky or another false idol introduction. So you have to be wise as serpents in the year of the dragon. This is also the Aurora Boris, meaning the law of polarity. So if anything happens, it's going to be good for some and bad for a lot of people. It goes hand in hand concurrently. The knowledge of the good and evil tree is called polarity. And this is what we experience here on earth. And it also has to do with the Aurora Boris. And it makes the prima materia, meaning the universal matter. That is the holy oil or the reason why the Anunnaki came here in the beginning to mine the gold and came to earth in search of gold. It is called Prima Materia. In my opinion, please leave your comments today. April 8, 2024 to or from 33 AD at Jesus Christ Solar Eclipse to the Solar Eclipse on April 8, 2024. The Great American Solar Eclipse will also be with the Devil's Comet and the Hebrew Nissan Abib for barley harvesting with Ninurta. Jesus demanded for a sign to Jonah in Luke 11:29 through 30. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. They seek a sign, and there shall be no sign be given it, but the sign of of Jonas the prophet. For as Jonas was a sign unto the Ninevites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. April 29, 2024, last of days, entering into Age of Aquarius, the fall of Babylon, 
The Devil's Comet initiates the new DNA of more alien species living amongst us. Remember, Jesus Christ had a ending in his beginning. So this means, it can only mean that this is a pre-planned designated program. If you have an ending in your beginning, this is programmed. So, this initiates the fall of Babylon on April 29th, found in Revelation 17.5. The name written on her forehead, or Anana Ishtar's Statue of Liberty, of course it's in her forehead because it's her pineal gland, was a mystery. Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and the abominations of the earth. The Queen of the South is called up to, to take care of more business, as Jesus Christ states again in Luke 11.31. The Queen of the South equals Arish Kigal, the Anunnaki Queen of the Underworld, like Lilith, and also Archons with Queen Sheba, shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them. For she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. What are your thoughts? You be the judge. Continuing into April, the great supper of the Anunnaki gods is seen in Luke 14, the parable of the great banquet. When one of those at the table with him heard this, he said to Jesus, Blessed is the one who will eat at the feast in the kingdom of God or Anunnaki Elohim. The great supper as seen in win winnowing, threshing, barley floor is in Ruth 3, has come to be known as a mighty warrior, God Ninurta, or king of earth, Ninurta, in Revelation 19, 16 through 17. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried, with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, Ninurta. Remember, every 2,000 years we're going to have an ending to an age. So it has to all take place. This is how it goes, and there is nothing new under the sun. Revelation 19, 9, And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And this relates to Ruth, found in Ruth 3, 2. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God, equals, in my opinion, the Anunnaki Elohim. After April 8th, this will initiate a new design plan that will also and occur with many. You be the judge, please. Wars called Armageddon and an alien invasion. This was all set up by the past COVID-19 shutdown to see how you're going to react to a global meltdown with possible entire food shortages and a Wi-Fi outage and a power outage. Once again, I'm not trying to scare you. I just want you to be prepared. Because this might engage a flesh frenzy. Because what if the trucks don't roll in to your neighborhoods or cities delivering foods? What will happen? Will this be similar to what happened recently in Haiti? You be the judge. Biblical proof of an alien invasion found in Revelation 16, 21. 
And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And men blasphemed God or Anunnaki Elohim because of the plague of the hail. For the plague thereof was exceedingly great. And remember, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump set up the Space Force during his reign as the president. This was all set up in Inky in the World Order, who is a master of water. And this was the transfer of arts to from Oridu to Uruk to Anana Ishtar. And the Anunnaki god of magic, a long time ago, when he set up the entire world in Inky in the World Order. I don't always approve of what the Anunnaki Elohim are doing, but I still love my creators because in my opinion, it would be an oxymoronic situation to not love the creators that created you and the creation. It is my opinion that the Anunnaki Elohim created mankind and we live on their earth. You be the judge. But praise to the Anunnaki Elohim gods, especially Ia, Inki, Tau, Satan, the devil, serpent, Pan, Yahweh, Jesus. The Anunnaki god of wisdom, water, and trickery. We're all born from water. And also Ninhursag, and Enlil, and Anu. Inki was the original alien extraterrestrial astronaut to establish the first colony city called Eridu. He set up the entire world in Inki and the world order and all civilizations with his fish priest kings that are now ruling. And they wear fish mitra hats right now. Inki created the first clones and human beings in the Inki and Ninhursag myth. Ia Inki is known as the god of the inner earth, Abzu, netherworld, or hell. Trust me, this is not Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> but I appreciate the creation and my creators. And I love talking about them. And it sounds very interesting to know more about them. And it is my opinion that they are in and wrote the Bible from the beginning to the end. You be the judge. But mostly all the stories were borrowed from Samaria, Egypt, and Greek translations. Even the Biblos means Bible in English. And every temple of Anana Ishtar or Astarte and Libertas current had a library in it. Just as the Statue of Liberty holds the, in her left hand, the Tablets of Destinies, transferred from this god pictured here from Eridu to Uruk many thousands of years ago. Daniel 12.4 But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and the knowledge shall be increased. Isn't that what's happening with the internet? All this knowledge is just pouring out to you. Right now, even. Right into your pineal gland. Through the word of God. Written in blood as it states in Revelation 19.13. Isn't the knowledge just being overwhelmingly increased? This is found in this scripture, right here. And Jesus says in Matthew 24, 37, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 38, Matthew 24, 38, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah, or Noah entered into the ark, 
Matthew 24, 39. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew 24, 40. Then shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Revelation 18, 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city, Babylon, be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Satan shall be loosed and waged into wars in Gog and Magog, fallen angels first. And second deaths found in Revelation 27. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. This also relates to Revelation 28. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. Gog and Magog equals the current war in Ukraine and this will initiate World War III, in my opinion, and the theater, because even Putin says that there is going to be a World War III, and he has already proclaimed this. Will the fall of Babylon engage on April 8, 2024, during the Great American Solar Eclipse? Please leave your comments and let us all learn together and be one or try to be one. Because there may be a time coming soon where we may need to unite and be as one. Once again, you be the judge. These are some quick images of Babylon and According to Revelation 18, this will be the fall of Babylon. If it is true that we are in the last days, then all the scriptures that were made roughly 2,000 years ago, or whoever wrote them, means that Babylon will fall. And every 2,160 years, we change zodiacs, or ages, or eons, or eras. So that means that we have a beginning and an end and we are fast approaching because if this is correct, Jesus Christ was around 2,000 years ago. So that means Pisces and Aquarius is fast approaching. This is Babylon right here with the Mashushu dragons sitting right there that are similar to or exactly what Marduk rode on his boat of lapis lazuli, or deep purple, and they are perfect strangers, in my opinion. Biblical proof that this will be the time of the conclusion of things and the Anunnaki Age of Enlightenment, 2024. With and through the age of Aquarius, found in Luke 22, 9 through 10. And they said unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare at the Last Supper? And Jesus said unto them, Behold, when ye are entering the city, there shall be a man to meet you, bearing a pitcher of water, or the age of enlightenment of Aquarius. Follow him into the house where he entereth in. This is a Passover. So we are passing over the age of Pisces and entering into the age of Aquarius, the water bearer. And this is exactly what it looks like. The conclusion has to take place at the end of the days, to begin a new era. One zodiac year is 2,160 years. Jesus was a fisher of men in the age of Pisces, 
to the now age of enlightenment in Aquarius. Jesus had an ending in his beginning, so you know now that this is an obvious pre-planned occurrence. Even in Job 38, it speaks of when God said unto Job, or the Lord, and Job was from Uz, or Az, and God said to Job, Can you tilt the water jars of heaven? This means the age of Aquarius. Pictured here. Another image of the age of Aquarius. It may be that we are entering into the another age with Inky. I know many people think he is Scorpio, but also you need to be enlightened through Aquarius and God of water is Inky. So if that is true, then you will be filled with tricks, wisdom, and many more wise enlightenment because Inky is a God of water and he made you with the pineal gland and cerebral spinal fluid. And that means your endocrine system will be lit up like a Christmas tree if you allow it. It is your time to shine. You be the judge and this is your choice. Another image of the zodiac wheel with 12 constellations and Ophiuchus is the 13th and that is where Jesus becomes enlightened as the 13th member. The water bearer is the age of Aquarius, pictured here. Age of Aquarius, right here. Biblical proof of the end of days with a solar eclipse like you be the judge on April 8, 2024, found in Matthew 24, 3 through 29. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what sign be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? With a question mark. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that they, yea, not be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. And these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And yea, shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because inequity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall come the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel, the prophet stand in the holy places. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them 
that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days shall be shortened, there should be no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. Then if any man say, shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For they and shall there rise false Christs and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, inasmuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before, wherefore, if thou shalt take unto you, behold, here is the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in his, the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the care case is, there will be the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Is this the great American solar eclipse found on April 8, 2014? You be the judge. Revelation 19.17 is the great supper. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, possibly the solar eclipse. And he cried out with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, in my opinion, Anunnaki Elohim. Once again, please leave your comments and let us learn together. Nibiru is also, in my opinion, called Wormwood. And it is time for a good parasite cleanse before the new moon and solar eclipse on April 8, 2024, in my opinion. May be a good day for fasting. But once again, this is your life. And I do not run it. And I do not need any validation from you to know what I have to do. Revelation 8, 11. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. Equals Nibiru. Equals Planet 9. Equals Jupiter. Beyond. And a mothership. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters. Because they were made bitter. Planet 9 is a hypothetical ninth planet in the outer region of the solar system. Its gravitational effects could explain the peculiar clustering of orbits for a group of extreme trans-Neptunian <laughs> objects called ETNOs, bodies beyond Neptune that orbit the sun at distances averaging more than 250 times the size that of Earth. What do you think, and what is your choice? The new heaven and the new Earth, whereas we get to be set along with extraterrestrials and throw away the old past, including all the institutions of the down that included Babylon, like false worship of all kinds of idols. I will let you fill in the blanks. This is found in Revelation 21, 1 through 3. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, 
for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God, or Anunnaki gods, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God, or Anunnaki Elohim, is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God Anu, or Anunnaki, princely offspring, himself, or themselves, shall be with them, and be their God, equals Anunnaki, Elohim. Proverbs 5, 4 But her end is bitter, as wormwood, equals Nibiru, planet 9, sharp as a two-edged sword. How to maneuver in this new rat race maze with an anointed pineal gland would probably keep you alive, in my opinion. What if I told you the Anunnaki Jesus, the Christ, is crucified in your brain once a month? Would you believe me? Luke 11.34 The light of the body is the eye, or pineal gland. Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body is also full of darkness. Matthew 6.22 The light of the body is the eye, or pineal gland. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. 1 Corinthians 15.52 In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, or pineal gland anointing, activation, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. What is your choice? To be like Christ or not to be like Christ? One way or the other, you will be farmed or like Jesus Christ. What is your decision? Revelation 11.15 And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, meaning the anointed ones, of the pineal gland, and he or they or these people will reign forever and ever. So the key to maneuver in this new age is with a open activated pineal gland. And you will always see the jinn, the wing genies carrying a pine cone which represents your Pine cone is representing your pineal gland, or the peneus brucia. The Anunnaki Elohim pictured here, holding the bucket and pine cone, representing your pineal gland as the pine cone, and the pituitary gland sac as the bucket. They hold their fingers together to represent being fruitful and multiplying through sex. The more sex, the more products, and the currency. And the merrier, because farming is the Anunnaki Elohim's business. This is an actual tablet called the Assyrian Tree of Life, including yours, because you have 33 vertebrae, just as Jesus Christ did. Nibiru is the wing genie in flight above the Tree of Life, and these are the milkmen, delivery men, and postal workers. The Anunnaki Gods, Age of Enlightenment, 2024, the book, found on Amazon.com. Com. <laughs> Peace and love be with you all. It's been a long video, and for those who have been watching, I appreciate your time, and I value your opinions. So please leave your comments. It's always good to hear 
from you. Thanks so much, and always remember that you are, and I am, a Spirit of God. You can find thousands of videos on this channel to let you know that you are made by the Anunnaki Elohim pictured here, and they carry the four peg post that signify the four corners of the earth, in my opinion. Today I leave you with a quote from the first book in our recorded history called the Epic of Gilgamesh, Tablet 11, lines 175 through 180. As soon as Enlil arrived, he saw the boat. This is talking about the flood epic with Utnapishtim. And Enlil saw the boat. Enlil flew into a rage. He was filled with the fury of the gods, or the Anunnaki gods. He says, in quote, Who came through alive? With a question mark. No man was to survive destruction. Ninurta, ready to speak, says to the valiant Enlo, Who but Ia Enki could contrive such a thing? For Ia Enki alone knows every artifice, meaning he is the all-knowing God of creation that created you and everything else in Enki in the world order. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and your time. And always remember that you are and I am a spirit of God. Peace and love be with you all.